Hi everybody, it's Faith from Firestein Tarot. I hope everyone is well. Um, yeah. It's Friday night, and normally I would be at the bread and butter job, but I am off on medical leave, temporarily, um, through tomorrow. Hopefully it doesn't last any longer than tomorrow. We'll see how I'm doing at the end of the day tomorrow, if I'm able to go in on Sunday, but, um, neither here nor there on that. I'm here reading cards, so getting what I can get accomplished accomplished since I really can't move around too much at this point. Anyway, Virgo, you're up. We're going to throw down your cards for June. Let's just get right into it. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. June 2021. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. Journey, journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising and Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers, are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot table. Everyone's always welcome. I appreciate you stopping by and spend some time with me. It's a lonely existence being the tarot reader, sitting at her table sometimes. But it's okay. All right. Before I do the invocation and throw your cards down, Virgo, two quick things we need to go over. One, don't ever make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. It's just not a good idea. I wouldn't do it if I were you. Two... If it's not your reading, not your story, not your message, it's not vibing with you in any way, shape, or form. And it's not really applying to your life. Leave the cards on the table and walk away. It's not your reading. It's not your message. It wasn't meant for you. It's a general reading. It's not going to be meant for you every time. Okay. Set that down out of the way for a minute. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, June 2021. Thanks for coming down again and hanging out with us. Let's bring Virgo to their highest possible spiritual good and bring him on their highest possible spiritual path. Virgo, why are you here? Justice. You might be dealing with a Libra. Could be dealing with a legal matter or legal issue. Lady Justice, with her scales, brings balance back into your life, and with her mighty sword, cuts out the crap that doesn't need to be there anymore. Okay, what happened? Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take. Okay. We're only one card in. Hold on. Magician reversed. Manipulation. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Codependency. In the upright, she is independent. She is fierce. She has nine Pentacles of her own. She don't need anybody else's. In the reverse, something's going on. It shouldn't be. And when judgment comes in, it's been a whole long time it shouldn't have been going on, hasn't it? Hmm. Okay. Eight of Cups and the Three of Swords in the future. Nobody panic. Yes, it's the heartbreak card. At the end of the day, it sucks. But it happens. It cannot always be sunshine and roses, friends. That is not life. Point blank period. That is not life. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Virgo. I, I love you. I have a Virgo moon and I'm a Virgo rising. It is what it is, is your motto. <laughs> I'm just saying. Judgment off the bottom next to this justice 
Yes, judgment calls are being made. It never dings twice. Hold on. I'm leaving it alone. It does not concern this. Judgment call being made. Things that need to be buried are about to be buried, and things that need to be resurrected will be resurrected. This is the end of the ultimate cycle. This is change. That was probably long overdue. Two of Wands on top of the Six of Pentacles. Princess of Swords on top of the Alchemist Reverse. The Magician. Same deal. Princess of Swords, oof, sometimes, she's the messenger. She's the little messenger page. Insert your own pronoun. I, it's the energy coming off the card. Just let me do my thing. And sometimes she, she speaks truth. Whether or not you want to hear it, she speaks truth. Again, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. King of Cups on top of the Nine of Pentacles reversed. There's deep feelings and emotions here. One of you definitely holds a cup for the other. Princess of Cups on top of the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups moves on to find number nine and number ten. I think this one's trying to give you number nine. It's a message. It's cutesy stuff. It's dinners and movies and chocolates and flowers and sweet little text messages and all that happy jazz, Virgo. It's the cute stuff. Let's get to this Three of Swords. Eight of Swords. Huh. Virgo, let's get your clarity. Let mama do her thing. All right, let mama Sag do her thing. Just give me a minute, all right? Just give big mama Sag a minute. Mm. Do my thing. Universe source of spirit. Can I get clarity in the cards in the temple for Virgo, please? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. June 2021. reversed. That friends tells me Is your head in the sand about some crap, Virgo? Are you not wanting to see the light? The hermit speaks of introspection and going inside and finding your inner light 
and walking down the path you're supposed to go down no matter how dark it is it's spiritual processing it's healing you're ignoring what's going on in front of your face Virgo you're ignoring it you're postponing an inevitable now let's find out why can I get one on this judgment card please strength card of Leo could mean something might not I don't know it speak of the polarities in a relationship it can speak of trust it it speaks of it can speak of holding back holding back one on strength please It's a two for the fool in the tower. You don't want to cause a tower by jumping. You don't want to cause a tower by leaving the situation. So you're choosing to ignore it. Can I ask you something, Virgo? If you were standing inside of a building, burning building, would you completely ignore the flames around you and just let yourself be consumed by them? I'm only asking the question. Think about that while I finish reading your cards. Why the Six of Pentacles here? I don't mean to be like that, y'all, but... Six of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, lots of activity, lots of... Lots of activity. Things moved very quickly. Things moved quickly. Things appeared to be equal, equal give and take, maybe like, maybe from a financial perspective, possibly, I don't know. Maybe that's what was told to you. Why is the two of wands here? Why is the two of wands here? Messages, it was fast messages. Either you checked out their social media and you liked what you saw. <laughs> did, a, did a little stalk in there. Or you liked what they told you. I got one more on that. Two of Pentacles reversed. I don't think things were as you really thought they were. I think it was may have been a little bit of a farce. I think things were not as stable and equal at the end of the day as you thought they were going to be. And I think one of you carried more weight than the other in Virgo. I have a funny feeling it was you. I think that you let go of the situation you were in and you moved forward toward the world that they sold you leading into the alchemist reversed who is the ultimate puppet master by the way ultimate puppet master very manipulative why is the alchemist reversed here the page of cups
In comes the Page of Cups. Why the Page of Cups? Eight of Cups. Y'all? Y'all. Hmm. Y'all. Are you listening? Are you listening now? Do I have your attention? Okay, good. Glad I have your attention. Somebody came in with truth. Maybe a truth you didn't want to hear, but a truth nonetheless that you're being manipulated. Somebody is trying to pull you away from the puppet master. Somebody is trying to pull you, or was, this is still in the past, into a situation where you're not being manipulated. Somebody tried to open your eyes. One on this per page of swords, please. Five of cups, pull you out of the state of sadness and depression that you're in. Five of cups reversed. So let me try to pull you out of it. Somebody tried to put your cups right side up again. <laughs> Fill them all up. Page of wands, might have been a fire sign, doesn't necessarily have to have been, but might have been. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Might a little bit of some something, something going on, I don't know. A little bit more than cutesy, you know what I'm saying? It's wands. It's action. It's passion. Could have been a cute, cute thing going on. I don't know. Mm, gotta stretch that foot out. Um Hold on. Okay. It's starting to hurt, gotta elevate it. Um Wow. Come on, let's go. I'll take you away from this. And in the present, Nine of Pentacles reversed. Why are the Nine of Pentacles reversed? The Chariot. talks about putting distance between two things possibly or hop in the chariot and going one on the chariot please high priestess following your intuition going on the path you're supposed to go down soulmate connection card that's two the chariot and the high priest this is big y'all this is big this is big Queen of Pentacles because they see you as the catch. The catch. Why the King of Cups? They're trying to pull you out of a codependent relationship. Knight of Wands. Gotta love him. He's a little bit more grown up than the page. Rides into your life, rides back out again. Sometimes carries a passenger along with him, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, every once in a while. I'll see a Knight of Wands card. Mm. Rides in, gets what he wants, rides out. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Wands are passion, wands are action. And the Knight of Wands does not hang out long.
I think you may be in a codependent situation holding a cup for a knight of wands. Might be fire for sign person, might not, I don't know. One more on this knight of wands, please. One more. Knight of Pentacles. They always have an apology. Most manipulators do. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I don't know if it's half-hearted or not. One, one on this Knight of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Crossing the river to greener pastures. Either you are or they are. I don't know. Two seconds. Judgment in the moon. Okay, thank you. Making uh, chicken cacciatore for dinner. Um, the moon and karma. Karma being the judgment card. The judgment card has shown up again. It's like you know you should because you're sick of the manipulation and you're sick of the codependency. You care about this person, but you're pretty much just done with their crap. It's what I'm seeing, Virgo. It's what I'm seeing. You are staying for the wrong reason. I mean, if it's the right reason for you, by all means, stay. If you want to stay with someone who continually manipulates you and runs around and always has an apology in their back pocket right next to the person they're running around with, you know, do what you want. It's fine. And no judgment here. But you're staying for the wrong reason. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Did I feel a flipper? No. Very awkward and klutzy today. I think I'm getting tired. <laughs> There's that wand again. It's the ace of wands and the star. I see you moving forward with something new and something passionate, possibly, potentially, moving toward healing, seeking the cup. Why the pay? Who got princess? Why the princess of cups? Nine of Swords reversed. We want to ease your mind. Ease your spirit. High Priest, they may even want to make this a thing. Could be a very spiritual person. Uh, 
could be a blessed union. I don't know, that heartbreak card, at the very least, you're going to learn a lesson. Because the high priest is also the teacher of life lessons. So, I'm going to say this before I clarify that. If it ends up in a three of swords, the only one control that eight of want that eight of swords is you. Because I think, correct, and I might be wrong. I don't know. I don't want to overstep. I don't want to overspeak. But I feel compelled to say this. Sometimes, and I've said it a thousand times, soulmates come in to your life for a reason. We've all played together before. We all come down and play together again. And they come down and they steer you on the path you're supposed to go down. And even if this ends in a Three of Swords, I think it's a hell of a lot better than an Alchemist Reversed. You can recover from this a whole heck of a lot easier than you're going to recover from this. Because this screws with your head. Your head, your heart, your soul has you ungrounded. Disaligns your chakras, screws you all up. Makes you question things and not trust your judgment. Why the three swords? Two of Wands reversed. Two of Wands. So if the cards hold true and you end up getting your heart broke anyway, chasing after a couple of new cups, how full was that cup? How full was that cup right there? You know that one? With the Knight of Swords and Knight of Pentacles next to it? How full was that cup? You can have a cup full for somebody else, but if their cup isn't full back for you... That's why you left. So before you start questioning that and getting all eight of swords up in that, that's why you left. Because you went chasing a full cup. And if a soulmate came into your life to pull you off a path that you were going down, where your cups were not full, you keep going down the path toward the full cups, even if they're not on it anymore. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Are you, are you feeling me, Virgo? Are you feeling what I'm saying to you right now? I'm just stuck at the crossroads. I'm just stuck at the crossroads. Why did I leave? You left because you, because it went on too long. And when you go farther down that road and you find the cups that you were looking for, when you found this one and you didn't find it, and it wasn't the cup you wanted. Hey, you know what? You found the cups you were supposed to find. If that's your story. If it resonates with you. That's how it plays out. I mean, I'm just having fun playing cards, guys. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. Uh, I'm here to have fun. And stand on a soapbox with my foot up because it's screwed up. Anyway, I'm just trying to be useful tonight. I'm trying to harness some of this weird energy. Okay. Justice. I'm getting all fired up now that Chai T is finally kicking in. Justice. The playing field will become level. The sword will cut out the things that don't need to be in your life anymore. The toxic crap and the manipulation. 
the empty cups. Or the cups that only you were filling. So if it hurts, the pain's part of the lesson. So, if you're afraid of leaving a situation that you're stuck in, codependent situation, you're afraid of leaving because you're afraid it's going to hurt, it's part of the lesson. It's supposed to. Because it's a hurt that you will survive. Because justice is coming. Cutting things out of your life that don't do you no good no more is coming. Level scales are coming. You just gotta go after them. It's part of the journey. Why is Eight of Swords here? End of the cycle. End of cycle. All Eight of Swords is about what if it comes to an end? What if it does? If it comes to an end, it's supposed to. That's, that's a good one. That's a good ending to a cycle. Sometimes beautiful, wonderful soulmates break our hearts. But that heartbreak is a wonderful thing. Because they did you a favor, ultimately. Even if they rip your heart out and stomp on it. Damn it, you're not dealing with this anymore. It's snagging on my sweater now. I'm getting all fired up. One more on this year and then you're getting in your advice. And I gotta go finish making some chicken cacciatore. Go stand on my foot and boil some pasta. Sun reversed. It's gonna suck for a minute. But now I gotta throw one more on it because that's not a happy card. It's just a cloud. The sun behind the cloud. You know what the sun behind clouds brings? Well, the Five of Pentacles reversed. That's coming in out of the cold. That's the clouds parting. And the Magician is the beginning of a new story. It's that fool taking those first steps with the world there in front of them and all the tools they need. That's a beautiful thing. All right, Virgo. That's a beautiful thing. All right. Advice. And we're 35 minutes. If I made anybody cry, I apologize. If I got a little rowdy, I apologize. But sometimes I get a little rowdy get my lesson in. Five of Pentacles reverse and the world in the upright. Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. I'll read all four together. Sometimes. Hindsight is usually 2020. I'll just throw that out there for a second. It was a long, dark, cold night in the moment. And it was painful. And it sucked. But the cool thing about the Ten of Swords and 
these soul life lessons that our soulmates come into our lives and teach us is that they make us better people because these are lessons we're supposed to learn and they're not always easy it ain't always sunshine and roses Virgo it's not supposed to be and I think you know that better than any of the other signs I really do it's not that bad it's really not and these lessons that teach us who we really are That we are the catch. And we are beautiful. And we are worthy. We are worthy of love. We are worthy of equal, con equal connections. We are worthy of being treated with re respect and dignity. swords hmm. and the six of wands pops up I, I love these two cards together because it reminds me of something my grandmother told me a year ago and I'm like almost 40 minutes into this so I'm going to skip skip the logistics but long story short back on the horse sometimes a heartbreak is a victory sometimes you gotta get knocked off that horse to be able to get up and get back on it because sometimes getting up and getting back on the horse after you've had your heart stomped on is a huge victory. Because that means you evolved as a person. Seven of Swords reversed, Shadow Side reversed. Seek true, honest connections with honest people and not p toxic ones who are going to bring you back into the dark side. Avoid those. Use your intuition. I know you know how. You don't always like to listen to it, Virgo, but use it. And you know the difference. Have a wonderful June. Thanks for stopping by. Be blessed, friends, and I'll catch you later.